Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my March favorites. Sorry this is a little bit late. Um, I've been kind of busy with work and stuff, so, but let it better late than ever, right? So, let's get started. I have a kind of weird array of stuff this month. Um, so I'm going to start out with brushes. Um, two of the brushes are from Makeup and Hair Addiction. Um, I bought these a couple months ago, but I've been using them a ton this month. Um, this one's called The Finisher. Um, I think they changed the name to The Buffer now. Um, but it's just really nice for buffing in your foundation. I've really been liking this. Um, I've been buffing my foundation over most of my face, but avoiding like my chin and my nose area and then going just patting over it with a beauty blender to really like give me that seamless finish. I've really been liking that. Um, and I've been spraying my brush with a little bit of like either the e.l.f. or the NYX setting spray just to give my skin a little more wear since it's warming up right now. Um, and this is the Chiseler, and I actually really, really like this for contouring because it's small and it keeps its shape, so you can really just get in there and define, so really liking this. Um, I like it for actually both cream and powder contour. And I also got this it's Cosmetics brush. I think this is called the Contour and Highlight brush. I'm not really sure. Um, I just got it from Ulta, and I really like it because it's very, very dense, and very soft. It's very soft so it doesn't like irritate my skin at all or like catch on any dry areas um, but it's also dense enough. I'm not using it for contour and highlighted. I'm actually using it for blush. I do like to wear a heavier blush most of the time um, so I do like that it's a denser brush. I can really get it exactly where I want it. It blends out nicely and you don't get that like patchy like sometimes when you wear especially like matte blushes and you have a fluffier brush you get patchy so I like how this is just like really like work it into my skin. Alright, so now onto the actual like makeup-y stuff. Um, I've really been liking the OCC Cream Color Concentrates. Um, I've been using John Doe a whole bunch. Um, I actually use this contour, very nice um, kind of ashy taupey color um, that's not super dark. It's not quite as dark as Illamasqua's Hollow. It's a little bit lighter. So I really like that for um, my skin tone since I'm very fair. Um, if you were much past a medium, probably wouldn't go for this because it's not going to be dark enough. Um, I've also really been liking the Grandma one. I've um, been using this a lot actually. Cheeks, eyes, and lips. Um, I like it a lot on my cheeks, um, in my lips especially. But especially on my cheeks for a cream color. It's really nice. Um, I've also been loving the NYX Butter Lipsticks. I grabbed these a couple months ago and I've been slowly adding to my collection. Um, I own Fireball, Snowcap, and Gumdrop. I like all of these. Fireball is actually one of my favorite colors and I'm currently wearing Snowcaps topped by the Naked Gloss of Walk and Shame today. Um, this might be my favorite nude. I have a really hard time finding nudes that I like. Um, a lot of them pull a little too like salmony on me um, since I am very fair and I'm not a big fan of that because sometimes it makes me look sick. Um, so I really really like this color in particular. Um, but yeah, these are really comfortable to wear and have a lot of pigment which is really nice. Um, I feel like I have a bazillion lip colors. Um, so this is Walk of Shame. I got this the Naked Gloss. Um, doe foot applicator, not my favorite but that's okay. I really like these glosses. Um, they don't really taste like anything to me. Um, more than anything, they're comfortable to wear. They're not overly sticky, but they're still glossy. And a lot of times when I wear glosses, they're just too sticky and I can't stand them, so I end up taking them off. But this one's really nice. It's very wearable. Um, again, with a gloss, it's not like the longest wearing, but it's not uncomfortable to wear for the, um, like, I get about four hours of wear, but it's nice because it's not uncomfortable. Oh my gosh, I feel like I have a bazillion lip products. But I also really like these Bite um, Cashmere Lip Creams. I have Moscato, which is the pink color, and Sherry, which is kind of this orangey red color. I really like these. These are a cream to matte finish. Um, I don't get quite as long as a wear time as like Stila Stay All Days, but these are much more comfortable. So I think I like these slightly more. Um, I do really like the Stila Stay All Day formula. Those are ones that I basically have to scrub my lips at night to actually get them off. These ones wear a really long time. Definitely can wear through drinks. Um, maybe wear through food if you're careful and it's not overly like oily like a greeny onion rings or french fries. Um, but I really like these. They're super, super highly pigmented. Oh, my hand already has like makeup on it. But I'll just show you 
these. Um, uh, one thing that I'm not a huge fan of is the applicator. I don't really like doe foot applicators. I'd rather have a squeeze too, but whatever. Um, just since I feel like it's hard to apply with those. But as you can see, these are like super, super pigmented. Um, I really like both of these colors as well. But the cashmere lip creams, really like. Um, okay, maybe I'll just finish my lip products before I pull for other things. So I ended up getting pretty much all the lip tars in the plastics collection. Um, haven't worn Pool Boy very much yet, um, or Mannequin, just because I have a lot of pinks. But Kimber and Roller Girl, I've been wearing a whole ton. I really like these two colors. Roller Girl is like, might be my favorite purple. I really like Heroin by MAC. Um, I really like mixing my own purples. But this, probably out of the tube without mixing colors, this is my favorite. Um, I do really like Hoochie too, but no, this one's more of like a true purple purple. Um, it's not quite how that, it has, the other ones have a tint more like pink to them. Um, but I really like Roller Girl. I've been wearing that a lot. And Kimber's just a really nice, like, true orange, kind of like pastel-y orange color, which I think is really fun, especially going into the spring and summer. Um, really liking the NYX Wonder Pencil. So this has been sold out at my Ulta forever. Um, I recently got it, and I really like it because it's actually fair. Um, I have a really hard time. I like wa lighting my waterline in particular, with um a pencil instead of that's like nude instead of white because I think white's a little too stark um and most of the time like they're fine but they're a little bit too dark like right now I'm using the um NARS larger than life um what is that Rue Bonaparte or is that the yeah Rue Bonaparte which is the nude color and I also have the MAC and C15 and W20 um and they're just like a touch dark for me. I prefer this and this I can actually use as a concealer like it says because it's actually my skin tone which is great so really liking this. Um, I've also, this is kind of like an old favorite, um, I've been using this a ton, the Pixie Brightening Peach um, Corrector. I, a lot of times I gravitate towards using, I have a Sephora like, I don't know, some type of radiance concealer that leans super super pink on my fair skin so I actually like using something with a little more pink because I'm so fair a lot of times but I've been grabbing towards this a lot since I haven't been sleeping very well and I've been sick and this works great so really recommend this brightening concealer um, but a little goes a long way. I've also been absolutely loving the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Um, I wasn't originally going to be getting this when I just saw the swatches. I mean, look at those colors they're really pretty but oh there's the light. Um, wasn't originally going to get this, wasn't super excited about it, saw it in store, and then I decided I should probably get it. Um, I also blame Samantha from Battle Ash Beauty. Um, she has some beautiful tutorials, so if you haven't checked those out, um, check out Battle Ash Beauty. She has a lot of tutorials using the electric palette. Um, it's a pressed pigment palette. I really like it. Um, a couple of the colors are not FDA approved for the eye area, particularly Slow Burn Savage, Urban and Jilted. I have worn all these colors and I haven't had issues. However, I am not sensitive to the red pigments that they use in these um, since I've also worn different blushes on my eyes and haven't had any issues. Um, I, had, I hadn't gotten any staining until yesterday where I wore a lot of Jilted without a base shadow. So it seems if you wear a primer and a base shadow, I don't get any staining. Did get a little bit, but it was gone by the morning. So it's not something that's really a make it or break it for me. Really like this palette. Um, they're very fun colors. They also are very nice on the lips. Um, I put padded some over, like, um, like for example, I did a look a couple days ago and I had Roller Girl on and then padded Urban and Jilted over my lip color. And that's actually really fun too because they are very pigmented. They almost have a creamy feel to them. So yeah, if you like bright colors and you would wear them and your eyes aren't overly sensitive, would recommend this. Um, so that's all my makeup. I have a couple other ones. Um, Versace Bright Crystal, loving this perfume. Um, I only own the Rollerball. I'm thinking I'm actually going to get the Absolute, um, version, which is, like, the intense version of the same, like, scent, um, since that's an Eau du Parfum rather than an Eau du Toilette, and then the last a little bit longer, but this is one of my favorite scents for spring. Um, I do really also like Aqua Digio, but Bright Crystal beats it just a little bit. Um, and lastly, I'm really liking this, what is it called? 
healthy, sexy hair. Their soy touch. Um, it's a really light hairspray. I have very, 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 very fine hair. Um, and so I, a lot of times hairsprays will make it kind of like crispy and it doesn't like look very nice, but I always want to at least hairspray my bangs in place. Um, and this is really nice because it is very, very light and I can like curl my hair or put my bangs up and I can still like run my fingers through it, but they still have like enough hold that if I try to put them back where they belong, they stay. So yeah, really liking those. Um, those are all my March favorites. Um, since this is already a little really late in the month, we'll see April's favorites really soon. I'll try to not be so slow. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or any products I should try out, leave them in the down box below, and I will see you guys soon.